Hello drummers, Deck here again. Um, we're going to be looking at West Coast Rolling, a tune called West Coast Rolling, again from the uh, Rock School Grade 1 programme. Um, again, I'm just going to go over the uh, parts that might be a little bit of a problem for you. Usually quite simple rhythms in this, um, especially in section 1. It's all based on this kind of rhythm. Which is pretty simple. At the end of section one, section one is first four lines of the tune. The last line, we get this. It kind of just varies that rhythm a little bit, and we got a little run on the snare drum. So we've got. Do that again with a bit of counting. It's two bars. We've got one. So you're going to come down to the snare, play kick, cat, kick, cat, or three and four and, and put your bass with your right hand like that. Okay, so that's section A, that should be okay. Now section B is a little bit unusual in that the snares and basses don't always fall where you expect them. You know, that is the bass, it's not always on one and three, on and around one and three, and the snare's not always on and around two and four in the bar does move around a little bit but it's they're not tricky rhythms you just got to be careful um, where you put the snares and the basses yeah and get them in the right places okay at the end of that section there's um, there's a little run right at the end in the last bar and on the bar before it we just stop dead on the four and then do a little run I'll just play that for you. We've got one and two and three and four, one and two and three, four. Okay? So you keep your eights going on the higher all the way up to four with a cab. You know, I say a cab when you've got everything together, the car and the boom together. That's the bass and the snare together. One and two and three and four. And the last bar is one and two and three, four. If you notice the bass drum's on two on its own in there, yeah? One and two and three, four. Okay, so that's section B. Now section C, the rhythms get a bit funkier. Those of you who are familiar with what I call the four funk rhythms, it's got two of them in there. It's got this one, And it's got this one. Okay, where well you've got offbeat bass drum notes in, the, in there, if you remember doing those before going on to doing um, the funk rhythms. Okay, so you've got to be aware of those there. You've, got, you've only got those two rhythms in it. Uh, but they are two of the funk rhythms. Now right at the end We've got this. I'll just play the last line You've got One and two and three and four and one, two, three, four, one, two So you're opening a hi-hat for a full bar there the middle bar on the last line and you're playing the hi-hat with the bass drum going with it open I'll do it one more time, and then you've two crashes right on the end. One and two and three and four and one, two, three, four, one, two. Like that. Now, if you uh, if you manage to get those three bits down, uh, is the last line in each section really. If you can get those down, then I think you shouldn't have any sort of problems playing this tune. It's not fast. All right, so you won't need to like work with a metronome or a click. Um, so it's just those technical bits there. If you can get those down, you should be fine with this tune. All right, thanks very much. See you again soon.